It's the Lexington Catholic family is mourning the loss of two students who were killed last night in a car accident in Georgetown. We just learned their names about an hour ago. David Cervoni, a junior, and Dominic Pallotta, a senior. They were teammates on the cross country team. LEX 18's Michael Burke has more on the wreck, including a conversation with the driver of the other vehicle that was involved. It's our big story at six. Two students from Lexington Catholic, David Cervoni and Dominic Pallotta, were killed last night on this stretch of Carrick Pike in Georgetown. Two other teams sustained minor injuries as police say excessive speed was the likely cause of the accident. But these country roads are very dangerous and to an inexperienced driver, once you get a vehicle off the side, it's very hard to correct. It's almost at a point where you have to almost sometimes pull over and allow another vehicle to go by in some areas. Investigators reconstructed this crash, determining that the four students heading eastbound clipped a car in the westbound lane, then lost control heading towards the right shoulder. An overcorrection from that point at high speed then caused them to swerve left, landing in this ditch. I could tell they were coming a little faster than they needed to be on that on that road. Josh Masterson was the driver of the other vehicle. The retired law enforcement officer immediately began to render aid while trying to keep the other two calm. One of the parents were there and, you know, that, that was tough seeing them being told that, you know, their child was no longer with them. And, Autopsies will be conducted in Frankfurt, but police at this point don't feel as if alcohol or drugs impaired the driver. Conversations with the uh, the other passengers at the scene that can talk about, you know, what, what was taking place prior to the accident. The focus now turns to what happens after the accident. Lexington Catholic is offering counseling to those students and their families who knew David and Dominic. Even a former officer sounds shaken by it all. I've been there for family notifications before on other scenes and incidents, but not, you know, that that close to the actual incident. In Scott County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.